Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is like a bonus video because in last week's video, I said I would clean out that carpet and recover the gold from it. However, I forgot to do so as I was cleaning up my panning station. I realized, oh yeah, I totally forgot. So I guess I'm gonna be filming another video today. Um, let's go over there. We'll clean out this carpet and see if we can get any gold from it. And again, um, if you haven't watched the other video, you can watch it right there. Um, but basically, I found a piece of car. Well, Timber found a piece of carpet today at the river, and carpet was commonly used by the old timer prospectors. They would take a piece of carpet, lay it in the creek, um, let it sit there for a while, and then they would come back, collect the carpet, clean it out, and it would trap the gold. So it was like an easy way to prospect. Now that piece of carpet, I don't know if it's from the old timers, but I know that it's it had to have been there for a long time. So if there's any gold that ever traveled over top of it, we might be lucky enough to find some. And if I don't, it's kind of a wasted video, but hopefully I'm not wasting your time. If I am, then you can just unsubscribe, and I apologize for that. But anyway, let's go over there to the panning station. We'll uh, pan that carpet out, we'll clean it out, and we'll see if we get any gold. All right, here it is, a piece of carpet that Timber found out at Ralston Creek today. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add water and scrub it down with soap, some jet dry, and really I'm just gonna spend as much time as it takes scrubbing this thing with a scrub brush. Well, I know it's been there for a while because there's roots growing through it and into it. I've actually done this before in a different video a couple years ago, and I tried burning the carpet instead of cleaning it, and I will never do that again. I don't know if you've ever burnt carpet before, but it burns really hot, really stinky, really smoky, and it's just no fun. So hopefully this is good enough. Got some plants growing in it. I'm just gonna pour this water off because it's really dirty. There shouldn't be any gold in the water. The gold's gonna be in the sediment at the bottom. And then with the sediment, I'm just gonna spray that into this pan. All right, so I think I'll just continue this process off camera until this carpet is a whole lot cleaner and there's not a lot of dirt coming out of it anymore. All right, so that's pretty much as clean as it's gonna get, at least as far as I wanna go with it. Um, I did it about four times and got a decent amount of material out of there. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit of material that came out of that carpet. So yeah, we'll go ahead and pan this out. So let's bring over Krusty Rusty. I'll add some water and some jet dry to break the surface tension of the water so any really small gold can't float away. And first, I'm gonna go ahead and pan this stuff just to get the majority of the overburden out, and then we'll pan it like a spoonful at a time if needed. I think there's a piece of carpet in there. If we find any significant amount of gold in here, then yeah, that really is a great idea. I know that it worked. It's the same principle as how sluice boxes work with carpets. All right, actually, I might be able to pan all this in one shot. A 
We're down to the heavies right now. Just a little bit left here. I'm gonna keep that in the pan and swirl it back. We'll see what we get here. And I'm not seeing anything. So, you know, that tells me that that spot really is that great, to be honest. But anyway, at least now we know. And um, yeah, sorry about not put, putting this in the previous video. I totally forgot. This piece of carpet was just sitting over there. But anyway, now I can sleep better at night knowing that if there was any gold in there, that we didn't miss anything. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that actually watched the entire video. So thanks so much for that. It really helps the show. Also, huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right here. If you like this video, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and also checking out the video I have linked right over there. It's very relevant to what you just watched. And thanks for watching.